every time I watch Congress, I get a little less optimistic, but I'm going to keep there and, and say that, that we are eventually going to do it. So <laughs> young people are saying, we're paying into a system that might not be there for us in the future. The big issues, the jobs, deficit, long-run growth, that, you know, is what every American needs to, to know about. So, you know, what I really hope is that, you know, the interviewers and then the town hall, the people asking the questions say, no, answer, answer the questions I care about. And that's what I'm hoping we see. The thing we need more in this, uh, in this election and all elections is discussion of actually the issues. And so to have a university say, let's bring people from across the political spectrum, from different disciplines, and talk about these issues, and then to get kids to actually come to these lectures, I mean, that is just like every, it should be every politician's dream, it should be every American's dream that people actually get informed about the issues so that then they can vote in a sensible way. We did the Recovery Act. I watched your presentation. I did learn a lot. I learned a lot about the candidate stance on different economic issues. And the economy is so interesting and it's so important in this upcoming election that it was really nice to learn more about what each candidate stands for. I think it's uh, really important that she introduced uh, the idea of the European economic crisis in relation to how it, we react as the United States, how our businesses react, how our financial sector reacts. And I don't think that's emphasized enough in our our media right now it's sort of something that people sort of ignore because it's not here it's over there because uh, it does have ramifications on how our recovery will happen and how you know global recovery because we are a global interconnected world